I'm Eric Klein, and today we're going to talk about a brand new 2.0 firmware for Helix and Helix Rack. Helix 2.0 includes new models, a really cool controllers to Variax feature. It's actually a big enough release that we're going to split this into two different videos. This video, we're going to talk about snapshots. There's nothing inherently special about snapshots. They've existed in DOS software and in live digital mixers for many years. However, they're very utilitarian. They solve a problem. They solve uh, the inability to have gapless switching between tones or the inability to have uh, spillover delay and reverb echoes. Um, and instead of embracing the utilitarian, something where, okay, we just solved a problem, we wanted to really embrace it. We wanted people to go out of their way to use it to make more creative tones. Snapshots are deep enough to where we could talk for hours. Uh, instead, we're going to jump in and just show you how it works. And if you need more detail, you can download the brand new 2.0 owner's manual from line6.com. It's real easy to jump into snapshots. All you have to do is press bank up and down simultaneously, and you'll see eight snapshots here in the middle, and just select one. However, what we've done is we've gone into the global settings, and we've told Helix to put four snapshots on the top row and stomps on the bottom row. You can effectively put anything you want on either row. So in this case, on snapshot one, we have the amp on, the delay on, and the reverb on. Let's say for snapshot two, we want to turn off the reverb, and turn on the vibrato. For snapshot three, we want just the amp. And for snapshot four, let's turn on all four stomps. And now, it's as easy as that. And we want to take a little bit deeper and we want to tweak the amp. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the amp and we're going to push and turn on a parameter knob. So if you just turn the parameter knob, it stores across all snapshots. But if you push and turn, it'll now change depending on what snapshot you have. So let me go in and push and turn all of these. Snapshot one, snapshot two, let's tweak this a little bit. Snapshot three, let's turn them all the way down. Snapshot four, turn them all the way up. And now we have all of these parameters snapping. And that's as easy as snapshots are. Make sure you go to our website, download the new manual. It talks about all the other cool things that we didn't have time to get into right now. Stick around for the second video where we talk about how you can use the command center to control external devices via snapshot, and you can control your Variax parameters per snapshot or via real-time control as well. So, thanks.